competitive race suit can be worth valuable seconds, which can win or lose you a race. However, when choosing a competitive race suit, it's important that you understand what is the correct fit, or any potential advantage could be lost, and you could be making an expensive mistake. Whatever you buy must be right for you. So what is the right fit for you? There are key areas of fit for both men's and women's race suits, all of which should be considered when buying a suit. If the suit does not fit in any of the key areas, then it's the wrong suit for you. The neckline and straps should lay very high on the collarbone, virtually to the neck, so there is no gaping and that the straps have virtually no leverage when lifted. The straps at the rear fit like a bra strap under the shoulder blade muscle. The bust line should cover the whole bust area at its widest point. If it does not fit at the widest point of the suit and is only covering part of the chest, it is not high enough on the body. At the waistline, the suit should fit neatly flat to the waist. There should be no gaping at the rear of the suit to create a gap large enough to put your hand through. There should be no buckling of seams on the hips. This would mean an excess of fabric, which would imply that the suit is not high enough on the body. The seam of the knee skin leg should lie about two inches above the knee on the quad muscle, which is the biggest part of the leg muscle, in order to give enough tension. For the ladies' costume, there are similar key areas of fit as those for the ladies' knee skin. The suit needs to fit high on the neck to ensure as little water as possible gets inside the suit. The straps should be tense, having only slight leverage when lifted. They should fit like a bra strap at the back, under the shoulder blade and muscle. As with the knee skin, the costume bust line should fit at its widest across the full width of the bust. If it doesn't, the suit is not high enough on the hips. All the racing costumes are by their nature high leg, which means that these suits need to fit above the hip bone flat into the waistline. The key areas of fit for the men's jammers are shown here. The hip and bottom, the knee. As before, it's crucial that these suits are fitted properly at all these contact points. The waistline should fit on the hip joint, low rise, not on the waistline, as this is a guideline for sizing. The suit should also fit on the hip and bottom, with enough tension so there is no buckling of the seams. The seam of the jammer leg should lie about two inches above the knee, on the quad muscle, which is the biggest part of the leg muscle, in order to give enough tension. Make sure you lose the valuable seconds that win races. Choose a competitive race suit that is the correct fit and not an expensive mistake. Whatever you buy must be right for you, so make sure it's fitted for you.